Well, currently available on ESPN Plus just across town at Lowry Field. Texas Tech spring game right now, Gus. You ever go to a spring game? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, been to several. There have been times where they've been over here at Jones Stadium and paired up almost in an afternoon doubleheader with baseball and so you could go to the go to early football and then come over a little tailgate come to the baseball game or vice versa well first pitch swinging here to start this sixth inning Colby Branch laces one down the left field line and he's gonna cruise into second with a leadoff double we were ready I was ready to call that Jake Strong pass into the end zone right Colby Branch had other <laughs> thoughts <laughs> Well, in a game that has kind of molded along here through the last few innings, Baylor hanging around, right? That the five-run deficit certainly attainable, especially when you think about their win against Texas last weekend. They were down five in the ninth and right. came back to win. Right. And that's exactly what they've done. This six to one was the score in the second inning. Gavin Brzozowski, one for two with that hustle double in the third is takes ball one from Parrish. And the pace in the Baylor bullpen is picked up, so very appropriately stated that Mason Marriott's day is done. Hanging breaking ball, smashed out to right field. Coming up throwing Harrelson, and it's cut off by Cash. So Baylor, two quick hits on three pitches here in the sixth. Runners at the corner is with nobody out. Second hit of the day for Brzozowski, and it brings up Cole Tremaine. Texas Tech's bullpen just starting to get loose now. 66 pitches, 43 strikes thrown from Parrish. Who had retired seven straight before this sixth inning. And now will prompt a visit from Matt Gardner. Well, that bullpen hasn't had any reason to get up onto the fence yet today. <laughs> Texas Tech hit three home runs yesterday, 61 on the season. They were able to cruise across five runs in the first on four hits. Parrish has been smooth, but when you get into a, a hiccup like this here in the sixth inning, what does this tell you about a young arm, how he bounces back in the next few at-bats? No, that's, you're exactly right. And it's where, it's where pitch mix and, and uh, you know, third time through the order, Hitter seeing him for the third time. That's where that, that type thing comes into play. In this inning, we've seen a couple of guys jump on early sequence breaking balls that were elevated, and just sort of hangers, get over breakers, if you will. And so he's trying to execute a pitch, and he would gladly trade a run for a double play, and that's what the Red Raiders are playing for in the middle infield. Tremaine, a hit and a run in the second. Flew out in the third. It's Take a breaking ball outside. Tremaine crushed a ball to end the third inning. A fly ball out the deep left center field, which is today, oddly enough, into the wind. As the wind's pushing across from left to right. All of that to say that he has barreled two baseballs here today. Yeah, he was looking to get all of that one cut into this deficit as reigning Big 12 pitcher of the week, Ryan Free, saw him warming up. Certainly expect some usage from him as this pitch is fair down the third baseline. Three straight hard hits off of Parrish as Brzozowski hustles home and will score on the two-run double. Jermaine commit continuing his good day with another barrel. This ball smoked inside the third baseline and into the corner. Two runs in, tying run over there in the on-deck circle. Certainly starts to ask the question of how long the leash is on Parrish. His last home start was his best start of his career, career high six innings against North Dakota State on April 8th. And this inning certainly has been the most harmful against us. Baylor puts up a curvy number of two, and they're free. A little bit more warm. Maxi is told to start to maybe stall some time on the mound. Well, Trinda had buzzed along. You mentioned it. 
think at the end of the last inning, he retired seven in a row and what? 10 of his last 11, I think, if my count's right. Prior to this inning, probably didn't see this coming. Red Raider coaching staff thinking maybe there's another inning in this. And certainly Ryan Free wasn't up getting hot. Pitch count still low as John Socoli, 0 for 1 with a walk, will face a new pitcher as the southpaw is called by Tim Tadlock to face the left-handed batter. And Tristan Parrish's day is done. We'll take a break, give you his final line, and introduce you to the new Texas Tech arm when we come back here in the sixth. 